and welcome to Burn Unit. My time to tell one of my favorite jokes. George Bush, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton are all on a cruise ship. The ship hits an iceberg. It starts to sink. Barack Obama says women and children first. George Bush says screw them all. Bill Clinton says think we have time. <laughs> it's showtime! Welcome to Burn Unit. Thank you. Amazing Jonathan. Thank you very much. Bruce Blah! Sorry. So we are we're back. back. We're back. We're you back. You did some shows? You, we are and back we're in, back. In, we're in a new yeah. studio. A we're in our studio. home away from home. It's, uh, we're back at the uh, <laughs> hotel in Las Vegas on the Strip. They don't want us to mention their names because they're not really impressed with the show yet. But just you wait. Yeah, well, and uh, we, if you saw the Lost episode, there was one Lost episode po posted with Anthony Coulson. That's that was where here, we, then that we was moved here. away. Yeah. Left they, on good they, terms, they, not a problem. Because, right. But you have been on the road so much. Well, that's why I left, because, because I was on the road so much that we where could did, where, did you, where did you just come from? From Florida. Uh, it's, it, we were there for 10 days, which is a long fucking time to be, to be in, in Florida. Florida. Yeah. yeah, the old people yeah. do that. And what's great is I got to stay at the lovely resort with my my lovely girlfriend booked it and it was she's from canada and she doesn't know that la quinta is not a very famous resort <laughs> it sure sounds like one though doesn't it, it? does it's la outside. quinta <laughs> so we were booked in la quinta uh, uh yeah so that and was I, and i just came back i did a show in palm springs with uh, it was different reality shows people uh frenchie davis from american idol uh, you didn't tell me about this i, no, I did that it was it was one of the terry hill uh who is partners often with milt larson for these magic shows they produced this as seen on tv show and i hosted that with uh frenchie davis who, who in the hell's frenchie davis frenchie davis was on i believe the second season of uh, american idol and she was eliminated if i'm right somebody can help me with this she's eliminated because there was naked pictures of her on the internet and she is amazing and you should s pretend you know her because when she comes to Vegas, she she might be a guest on our show. Uh, so I don't we think love so. Frenchie I Davis. That story. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, she's amazing. She's and she, she was on Broadway and Rent in Chicago. And and you guys, you know yeah. all these great actresses, that, and I don't know any. Well, of these. And that's, can uh, I tell them what happened last yeah, night? Can, no, can I just five, ask the five. audiences who here knows who Judy Dench is? I, I do. Who doesn't know who Judy Dench is? What the twelve-year-old? Okay, your microphone's. Uh, oh, my microphone yeah, is there. You. You see, because we, we, I made a reference to Judy Dench, and Jonathan thought that no, nobody keep, would know who Judy yeah, Dench is. Yeah, just keep beating your microphone. <laughs> that helps. There we go. Is that better? Just making a little noise. Yeah. There we go. Now it's a drum solo. <laughs> <laughs> and Buddy Rich. Now who yeah. knows who Buddy Rich is? There we go. Yeah. There's another. I don't know who Judy Dench is, and she's not coming on the show, even if it's Dame Judy Dench. <laughs> yeah. That just means she's well, to be sad. a guy. Well, it was sad. She was pissed off. I called her, like and she was going to she was going to be our guest. We got a better guest than that. Well, that's Dame Edna. Before we get too far, because by the time this air, where are you going to be? Uh, so in uh, case you want to see the amazing Jonathan I'm going Lott. back. I'm, no, I'm not going back to Florida. I'm going to Cleveland. So I'm playing all these great areas. You know, I get to play West Palm Beach, which was fun. We did the improv. One of the nicest clubs in the country, bar none. Uh, Friday night, we had 45 reservations in a 500-seat room. Ooh. And I'm just wondering why my career is so over. And then that night, we had about 400 walk-ups. Wow. Yeah, so I mean we, we So were, nobody plans anything no, in that town. No, not apparently. for my show. They just assume they <laughs> they they assume they can get fucking tickets. That's, just, <laughs> that's it amazing. Sucks. At least they're buying them still. But I was I was like I was in You're ready. sweating, yeah. Oh. I was at La Quinta. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I didn't do much better. When it came time for me to book a room, yeah. I booked a room at the what was it called? The uh, something beach inn. Boyden the Boyden Beach Inn, which sounds a lot better. Nowhere near the beach, overlooking the freeway. Uh, and it was a, the room was not as good as La Quinta. It sucked. It, lo it overlooked the beach completely. <laughs> what? Did, you, did we say? She did find a dime bag of, uh, that, that compliments of the hotel, a dime bag of weed. <laughs> She that, found it in the that's hallway. What, at La Quinta, they call that a, a, a continental breakfast. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she calls it, too. <laughs> uh, so where are you going to be? So, so, so I, the, I will be wherever there is a bag of weed in the hallway. <laughs> 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 
And then I'll go down to the beach where my real drug washes up every, every hour on the hour. <laughs> Thanks to the Colombians. And uh, Anna, where, where are you guys going to be since you'll probably not remember? Yeah, this place. Is that where you stay? Where can well, they see you perform coming up in It doesn't matter where we perform, it's where we stay. <laughs> <laughs> we are staying at this place that we went last time. Oh my, it's a, yeah, Cleveland Improv. Oh, Cleveland Improv's coming up. Oh, yeah, it's coming okay. up. But okay. the hotel they put you in is like, it has room after room after room. It's amazing. It's got a fireplace and maybe. It, Sounds like the it hotel really didn't have room in. after room. I just know how to unlock the adjoining rooms. <laughs> <laughs> so I got se seven of them down. We had. So you're in Cleveland, sweet. And, and, and anywhere else coming up? Uh, yeah, we're doing some other dates. We're doing one for the Magic Castle at the at yeah, Beyond Brookledge. Brooklyn. We don't want to, when is it? May 31st. May 31st. Tickets are real reasonable for that, yeah, too. Yeah, it's $1,500 a ticket. Wow. And it is, I know. And uh, that's because there's other magicians on the bill as well as myself. And it's a spa, so you get the uh, same treatment as you do on La Quinta if you have enough quarters to put in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> April, four, April 14th, I'm in Sacramento doing It's Magic. And then the next Sunday, which I think is the 21st, I'm in San Francisco doing It's Magic. You're in San Francisco. Careful. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah? Because if you drop something in San Francisco, what? <laughs> You've you got to kick it all the all way, way to Oakland, Oakland before, before you, you pick, pick it up. up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I know. I know because I was reared there. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. You, need, you know, if you need the ride, you got to. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you needed the ride. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, I know the joke. <laughs> I know you know the joke. I'm, just like, I'm not going you? there with you. I'm not helping you out. Oh, okay. uh, what do we have here? Ooh, this, is, this uh. was invented by Thomas Edison. Uh, what? Who invented the light bulb? Thomas Edison. Blow me. All right. Judy Dench. Or Judy Dench. <laughs> this was invented by Dame Thomas Edison. I'll show you what it does. Uh, let me turn it on first. Okay, this is very cool, Bruce. Uh, it's a, this is the trick of the future, see if it works now. God damn. It looks very futuristic. Little switch won't, okay, I think it works now. Okay, you see how the yellow one lights the yellow one, the blue one lights the blue one, the green, the green. See, and I don't and know this trick at all. I well, it's, this, it's logic. It's okay. blue, blue, green, green. It's, the color corresponds to the one across, okay. the, across the, the straight circuit across. Okay. Now, check this out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take each one of these bulbs out, and I want you to tell me where to put the red one on this board here, because I know where you're okay, going. And, and we have not re right. rehearsed yeah, this. Yeah, like, like the whole, we haven't rehearsed anything else. No, Why would we no, rehearse this? No. Let's put the red don't one Don't touch it. You'll get a shot. <laughs> yeah, I don't. All right, all right. Smart. So the red one goes there. Where does the green one go? Let's put the green one over where. All right. Yeah. Unless, where does the yellow one go? Let's put the yellow one with the red. Okay. And you know what? This is also a psychological test, and it tells me you're a deviant just by the order you did that in. All right, but that's beside the point. Let's show you the trick. Okay, oh, because we got a blue right Yeah, blue we got is. now, we like the green one like this, the blue one like this, the red one like this, and the yellow one like this. See, look. Now wait, if you thought that was something, you need to get out of the house more. But watch, this is even cooler. I'm taking these little things off. And I'm going to put them corresponding to where they should go across from the color. And it's the blue one goes here. And last but not least, we got this. Watch. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. All right. All right. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. It? That's a nice trick. It is a very nice trick. And, uh, is that, is that uh, no, that's not something Carrie Pollock did. Is it, is it looks like something Carrie like Pollock Harry would do, do, but no, it's not something Carrie Pollock very invented. Cool. I don't know who invented that, and I don't really care because it was a gift from Gary Willette, who is a, one of the best magicians in the world, and he died, sadly enough. He produced, he was he famous. Produced, he, d he produced the world's greatest magic specials on television. He produced David Copperfield specials for a while. And he was just great a man. Helped great, so great man. Made many magicians very famous. Yeah, he did. And uh, I went to get to travel around the world with him a little bit. We went to France and traveled around. And a very, very cool guy. Very cool. And Gary mm. gave you that. Oh, but he, Gary his funeral, guy. his funeral happened to be at the Harmon Theater, which is coincidental. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, right. he I, produced a show there. Right. Uh, a strip or strip tease. Strip tease. Yeah, right. a musical there. That was yeah. his show. Yeah, and he wanted me to come watch it, and I watched it, and he sat next to me the whole time I watched it like this to see my reactions. What do you do when someone tells you, come watch the show, and they're sitting like this watching you? 
really uncomfortable. More uncomfortable though his funerals there. Um, but he picked. <laughs> oh, yeah. He picked. He was a. He knew music and he picked all these really sad pieces like the theme to Titanic. He knew what he was doing. Because everybody, there wasn't a dry ice, ice, uh, dry ice in the house. There was no dry ice in the house. <laughs> <laughs> which, which made it start. It, Penny, Barry started Penny, to smell pretty there? quick. Penny, were you there? Yeah, I was there. You were there. Uh, the yeah, because he picked the, the, the song by the blind guy. And a, dun, dun, dun. Oh, Andrew, what, What's his name? The guy that keeps tripping over uh, the... Time, oh, uh, what's Remember when we saw him trip over the curb, Penny? Time to say goodbye. Yeah, time to say goodbye. We watched him trip over curb and, uh, curb and we were, we were going to help him up. And it's like, nah. That's a, he'll, find he'll find his way. And Gary's whole family, his daughter, they're all lovely, lovely people. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and they're I all dead, they're all dead now, time. too. No, they're not. Nah, I'm kidding. That would have been... We don't make jokes like that. I did. Just did. <laughs> well, did yeah. Don't make... Well, because... Have we told the Charles Oh, Nelson yeah, Bond yeah. We got to tell... Okay, now, first of all, I have a way of making people die if I want them dead, right? And it happens just like this, and, you know, touch wood, nothing's going to happen to the U.S. No. But uh, I, I saw, the, saw this guy zip by us in a motorcycle. And I oh, said, we were heading on our way, we Anastasia. Goes, we were going to Disneyland. To Disneyland. And I said, well, you know what? I, I said, he's dead. He's going to be dead in less than 10 minutes. He was, and and he was then the there started to be traffic, and it Backed went to up. a stop. And sure enough, he was dead on the road. Um, skid, long skid yeah, mark, ambulance. Long skid yeah, mark, yeah. And he was dead. And then... And as soon as we got to Treasure Island, it was, I was over that. So yeah. It was that, I, yeah, it, was it was that, and then all of a sudden, did it that. The happiest place in the world. Uh, you, you, <laughs> get over, you get over watching that. But well, the worst was Charles Nelson. Jonathan killed Charles Nelson. Right? I said that he... Is he dead? Can I tell the story? Yeah, tell the thing, yeah. We were on stage uh, at the Sahara. Right. Working, and you did your Charles Nelson... Uh, just out of... <laughs> the, <laughs> and you said, do you know who that is? And I said, that's Charles Nelson Riley. And he goes, oh, yeah, and he's dead now. I go, Charles Nelson Riley's not dead. And, jo and then Jonathan goes, no, he's dead. I go, no, unless he, I, and I said, unless Charles Nelson Riley has just died, I'm sure he's still alive because he did a show in Los Angeles. The next morning on the news, dead. last night, Charles Nelson Riley died. Yeah, in Los and the Angeles. time was after I said. You know, so, I didn't, so Jonathan I didn't, has a, a and that's not people. the only time either. There was one more. Was there one more? Yeah, there was one more. Who was it? Um... Oh, it was you, but I shouldn't have told you. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, don't wouldn't say that, that, wouldn't that, that, wouldn't that be, be cool, awful. guys? Wouldn't That'd that be, be awesome? Awful. I mean, it'd be sad, but it'd be fucking awesome. Too. Yeah, and then yeah. you'll be playing mm -hmm. Andrew Bocelli. Here, we'll have the funeral here. That's right, or at the Harmon Theater. <laughs> oh, that would be sad. That's not yeah, even that there would be sad. Would Everyone would be crying. You have a great, we have a great guest today. Yeah, we do have a great guest today. Uh, she, she got in late because of all the traffic downstairs. Yeah, they're taping a movie downstairs. I don't oh, know. Awful. They're taping a lot of movies down here lately. It's yeah, they did the Burt Wonderstone. Yeah. Uh, my and friend Becky they was They do there. Hang Hangover 3 was taped outside. Uh, uh, some other Morgan now, Freeman Now, there's stuff. supposed yeah. to be there's supposed to be some heavy well, duty actors. they're taping here, and it was, yeah, and, and it was like yeah. impossible the, to get past security uh, to, that's get to why do this. Our and guest was late. and uh, That's why we've been yakking so much. She's finally here, and she does it all, ladies and gentlemen. She's a singer. She's an actress. She uh, is a hell of a stand-up comedian. Mm -hmm. She is, uh, what else does she do? Impressions. And uh, she is my partner, and she has been my partner for 14 years now. It's going on 14 years. After I got divorced, uh, my wife was in the show. Now she's in hell, uh, <laughs> where she belongs. And apparently hell can be run without her. So Satan called her home. And uh, <laughs> I replaced her with... My partner, who I'm still with, and probably still with, because well, well, we didn't do it. We never <laughs> done it. This is why me and you, we're gonna be together forever, pal. Uh, we'll be right back with more burn unit after these messages. Guests that are on the burn unit stay at the lovely Sad Clown Motel, located off the interstate. Yes, we are open during construction. Enjoy our amenities such as sinks, toilets and even the deluxe suite, which has a bathtub, located right across from Maggie's Diner, where you can get some of the best food in the county. Yes, we have gotten rid of the spiders. They're gone. Thank you, welcome back to Burn Unit, and uh, my next guest, uh, I'm gonna show you a clip right now. She's in my show, she has been for a long time. You, you know her as Psychic Tanya, but Penny Wiggins is her real name, and here, is Psychic Tanya. Check it out. <laughs> is she ready? She's ready. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Psychic Tanya. Okay, Macho Man, there's a good choice of songs. Macho Man. What we're going to do... Okay, someone's back in their own little fucking world again. <laughs> Yo! There you go. Time to land your spacecraft, okay? <laughs> the music stopped. Welcome to Earth. What we're going to do is blindfold Psychic Tanya. No, no, then no, 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 no. It's Madame Isabella, queen of the night. Okay, you changed it again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. I made it fancy. Yeah, I like that one. All right, then. Fancy! Yeah. <laughs> fancy, I fucking heard you. Fancy. I heard you the first time. By the way, I'm not deaf. You see a dog up here anywhere? What we're going to do is... There's no fucking dog up here. Just said I know I what I just said. Now stand there. there. We're going to blindfold Psycho Tanya. <laughs> then we're going to hold up some random objects, and her job is to guess what we're holding, even though she is blindfolded and cannot see through the blindfold. But All right? Whatever it is, whisper it. Whatever it is, whisper it. Remember right. I had Lower. No, lower your voice. Lower your. Oh, great. That's great. I know. That's great. Ah la 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 la. Okay. Ah la la. We'll deal with it, okay? I'm just okay. trying to explain. Ah la la. Shut the fuck I... up. Don't. Don't. Close your mouth. You're not fooling me. Close it. All right. Change of plans. We don't have a blindfold tonight. Somebody left it in the car. Yeah, so I, I know did. what the fuck it was. Oh. So what we'll do is we'll try to find a blindfold or something we can use. I'll find it. I'll find it. Stay put, please. I don't want you locked in the stairwell for two days again. <laughs> Security. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that, was a that was a hoot. <laughs> All right. Tonight we'll use two ordinary playing cards as a blindfold hey. and a staple gun. Oh, no. And we'll attach a card over each one of your eyes like this, okay? All right, here's an idea. Move your hands, I just thought of this. We can use some tape to keep those cards in place. Round and around and around and around. Oh, my hair! You won't have to worry about that when you take the tape off. We'll show you more clips uh, of other parts but uh, uh, later on, but I'd rather talk to you than I've seen this like every night for the last five years. <laughs> I, it's a, it's kind of cold in here, and I brought a little candle just to. <gasps> oh, that never gets old. The that's old my, fake that's candle. That's my favorite. Even better when it's turned on. First. Yeah, when it's turned on. Wasn't it on at all? Yeah, it was on, and then it turned on. Yeah, oh, you cheap broke things. It. Yeah, 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 broke. Ah, there goes that budget. So. Oh, see that. She's been with the show Thanks for a long correct. time, and uh, yes. unlike Martin and Lewis, we get along pretty damn good. We haven't had, we've had two or three fights right. in that time. But boy, were they fucking fights. <laughs> One involved a chair. Yeah. Doesn't happen, doesn't happen often, but holy shit when it does. Uh, the people in the room are, are scared. Yeah. They're really scared. Uh, That's Kevin, Kevin James. Kevin James was like, oh, yeah. go check on my arm. Oh, I don't know, I'm gonna check. <laughs> yeah, he was he's a big guy and he was scared. <laughs> you never saw anyone that well, oh, at the time he was yeah. bigger, and he I never saw anyone that big run so fast. Like <laughs> Because they get brutal. This is how Penny fights. <laughs> Penny, you're being an idiot. No, you're being an idiot. No, you're being an idiot. And then no, she, you're just, being. Just stop being so mean. No, you're being mean. He's like, he's like fighting a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, she's one thing Penny is. She after the fight's done and after I'm done fighting with her, we're, it's like it never <laughs> even happened. Yeah. yeah, I just I have a couple bruises. And yeah, then they and heal. Uh, your check's not as big. It heals. <laughs> <laughs> No, I did hit you once. Oh, I, 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 did, I did hit you once. In the elevator? In the elevator, yeah. I did. Everybody's hit you once. Yeah. You're frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> she was, I yeah. told her I don't want to fight anymore because that's all it is, is I don't want to fight anymore. No, you don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> so it just starts to not make sense after a while. What about me? I'm not done fighting. I'm not, open the elevator. I'm not done. Yes, you are. Yeah, <laughs> so, so that's what it was. It says, I'm not fighting. I'm getting on the elevator. She went to get on with me. I was like, you're not getting on the elevator. <laughs> and she's like, no, you're not getting on the elevator. 
<laughs> so she went to get on the elevator, and uh, and I popped her a good one right in the chest. <laughs> and she took one of those like five step backwards things, and <laughs> hit the wall, and slid down. <laughs> and the last thing you heard is, "I'm calling the po." <laughs> <laughs> Security. <laughs> yeah. So I figured, well, maybe she was going to call the police. So I ditched out to Pizza Hut. <laughs> and waited a couple hours before I came back to the hotel. <laughs> 16 pizzas later. Yeah, yeah, no, we, we don't fight much though. It's it's a pretty it's been pretty fun for the most part. Yeah. Yeah, we've had good we've had a good run and now that we're not we're kind of retired. I decided to retire. Penny really didn't want to retire. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not done retiring. No, I'm she's working. she's not in the same mindset I am and that's I've done because before you I was with five other psychic Tanyas for about 10 years apiece. Oh, yeah, I know. So, but you're the only one that's lasted this long cuz we never <laughs> Yeah, never. We fucked, but we never did nah. this with our fingers. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why we never fucked. Yeah, no, we're like this. That's me on top. Um, yeah. No, it was. Uh, it has been. I, the first time I met Penny was uh, she was doing a theater show. No stand-up comedy. comedy. No, yeah, you were doing. You were at backstage at the uh, Comedy Magic Club in Hermosa Beach. Right. And I just got divorced, and I was lamenting about my. And I was like, Hey, how are you? You want to see the car I gave my wife? <laughs> no, it's I'm not. Like, I was making everybody laugh talking about her because Gordy Brown, <laughs> another entertainer, was he just went through the same yeah, thing. Yeah, that's right. He so just we were just talking about what bitches women are and back and forth. And I said I was going to write a book called Men Are From Mars, <laughs> Women Are Cunts. And, uh, <laughs> and how it would be a great book and everyone's going to read it who's been divorced. But then uh, I, I saw a spark there. I never saw your show that night. I didn't see your show that oh, night. Oh, that's right. You're just backstage. I was just backstage. And then I asked you what you did, and you were a comic, and I was kind of interested in it. She was the first uh, one after I got divorced uh, that I actually looked at and went, hey, maybe. Uh, and so I, she invited me to go see her. Sketch comedy she show. She wrote a sketch comedy show, and, and, and she was at the Glendale Park House. Yeah, or something. Theater. Yeah. Some small theater. Yeah. And, uh, North she, Hollywood. North or. Hollywood. But she was brilliant in it, and she, she wrote a lot of the skits. And... Uh, she was just brilliant. And so uh -huh. I went back the next night again, brought her flowers, yeah. and said, boy, you're so brilliant. I can't believe the, how much I really want in your pants right now. And um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I tried really hard and uh, got shot down every fucking night after night after night. Hence 13 years later. Yeah. And what? so then I decided, okay, she won't sleep with me. Maybe she'll be in my show and then I can wear her down that way. <laughs> I go, have I introduced you to this waitress? Get over here, I Shannon. Know. I wasn't her wasn't her type whatsoever. And when I see her type, I'm like really fucking glad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and she hasn't been on another date since that day. That's right. No. Dating he, life over. There's a guy what? Standing, I don't know, somebody, I'm sorry, I shouldn't interrupt. Somebody's standing in the corner. Looks like oh, you know who that is? It is the new Robert. Come on over here, man. Oh no, he's doing the movie downstairs. Are you doing oh the movie God. downstairs? Oh Robert De Niro. How are you, Robert? Holy shit. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. <gasps> so, are you doing the movie out front? Yeah, I'm sorry. My you got laryngitis. Cold. It's yeah. horrible. Yeah. Well, we, why don't you sit down and say hi yeah, to him? Have I a can't seat. stay. I gotta go. I just. Well, that's nice that you I come up. AJ. I just wanted to say hi. Thank you, Robert. It's good to see you. He's wow. not gonna shake your hand. Oh, pleasure to meet you. That was something, Robert De Niro. Wow. I don't know, you don't know any big stars. You don't know Robert De Niro. Bruce, he didn't even shake your hand. Yeah, Bruce, he didn't, he didn't even, even kind of, look at kind of you. like karma, huh? That's yeah. That's a little awkward. Oh, awkward. You love Robert well, De Niro, too. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Well, we work together a lot. You know, Robert De Niro, Amazing Thanks. Jonathan. <laughs> You'll you see that on a marquee. That's what I do. I, I call myself believe, Amazing I Jonathan. I mean, Isn't I, that I like, don't, it, that's it, the kiss I of don't death. I take away from, from it. Uh, Too late. But it's just, wow, that's hard to come back from. That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That's what I was just saying Justin about. Justin Hoffman. Oh my God. No. Just kidding. That would, that, that would be cool. <laughs> Jim Carrey. Uh, no. Yeah, she wants to meet Jim no, Carrey. If you so could bad. meet one person, who would it be? I've already met Jim Carrey. I'd no, be, but if you could meet one person it probably that's would be living, not George. That's living? Not George. What's his name? Oh, you mean a star or something I want to be? Uh, Someone you'd uh, want to be. Bill Gates. <laughs> Maybe Bill Gates. I've already met you. You want to meet Bill Beauty. Gates? Probably Bill Gates. Um, it was, it was Alice Cooper, but then when I was a kid, I always wanted to meet Alice Cooper, but no. Who would yours be? Carol Burnett. Yeah. And Jim Carrey. Well, one for one. And Jenny McCarthy. Oh, well, you can meet Jenny McCarthy. Call her up and say, I want to meet you. She'll come over to your house nowadays. <laughs> I'll Twitter. 
Twitter. Jenny. Who would you want to meet? I want to meet Mel Brooks. Really? I really want to meet Mel Brooks. I bet you he would blow you off worse than De Niro just did. Probably would. <laughs> I bet he would. I, 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 I would. Who would you want to meet that wouldn't blow you off? Who would you want to spend a day with? That's who could Madonna. you Madonna. I want to meet Madonna too. Yeah, I don't think I could spend a day with Gates. I would look stupid after about 10 minutes. <laughs> you realize I'm just a, a doofus. You're nearly. like, Jonathan, I'm showing you the computer. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm still on DOS, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, what were we talking about before De Niro went Well, we were talking, talking about, about uh, how we got, yeah. No. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, so anyway, we sat down at a, 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 some restaurant in Hollywood, and we started writing together. We wrote the character. And it's evolved a lot. The character has evolved and a we lot. We wrote for hours yeah. on the plane in the restaurant. And that's, that house. was the last time we, we wrote. ever wrote. Yeah, we had the same accent. <laughs> Thank God we had three yeah. hours. Well, we had good three hours, but it lasted 13 years, those <laughs> yeah. three hours. And, uh, um, but <laughs> so, no, it was great because if you saw the character at first, then. Uh, yeah, it was really high, like, hi, okie dokie. Yeah, it was real. And she and had I'm long red wrong, hair and a big pink. Maryland dress. Marilyn Monroe. Diamonds. She used to play Marilyn Monroe yeah. all the time. That's what I did. I followed her around. Oh, that's right. Because I was and like a puppy. Singing telegrams. And she would do these singing telegrams, and I would go, oh, I want to go. I want to go. You know, <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So she would go and, and do, she was fearless. She would do anything to, she walked into a, I went with her once, you were a cheerleader. Yeah, that nerd. Just like a, a nerd, nerd cheerleader. cheerleader. And she walked into a gymnasium and did a, cheer, a cheerleader audition in front of, with real cheerleaders <laughs> who were 16 years old. And then walked this 70-year-old woman with dressed like a, I'm sorry, 60-year-old woman dressed oh, like a cheer. No. no. She was, she was, yeah, she was 39, it. 38. Yeah, yeah, but you still didn't really blend in that. And it was very yeah. uncomfortable for all the other cheerleaders watching you try out. And I was I like, hi, if uh, <laughs> you're from the audition. She had these big nerd glasses yeah. on. And they were all like this. Oh my God, Buffy, let's go. And then one time she came she was running. Over. What was the story of you being pulled over in a costume? Oh, I was dressed like a heart. I was going <laughs> Valentine's Day. I had two I to the liver. This. Yeah, and I got, no, I got in a car accident actually. I got dressed like a heart? Yeah, I was dressed like a heart. <laughs> And uh, I got. So you had, so the cop looked at. And said, I think she's having heart problems. <laughs> <laughs> but not only did I get in a car accident, it was with a lawyer. So that was like the oh, worst. You couldn't. Maybe he was dressed like a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> you also, you also uh, got beat up as a taco. She dressed like a taco oh, for yeah. a taco they place. They pushed me down. They pushed the taco down. Not, not easy to get up in a taco. Broke costume. the fan. I had a little fan up in the top part, and they're yeah. like, "Hey, taco, eat me!" I'm like, "Oh, you're so funny!" And then they pushed me down. I pushed down the taco. <laughs> 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 she would do anything for money, and uh, she no, would. Almost. She, you no, would. No, no. Almost. The time you went dressed like a cop. She went oh, to yeah, this right. one guy's house so and said, uh, I'm His going, office building. Yeah, and said that he, she was going to arrest him for illegal software. <laughs> and he really, was did, doing he really was him. doing it. She didn't know that. So he freaked out. He fainted. He actually he fainted. fainted. This poor kid. And she comes running out to the car and goes, go, 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 go. I'm like, why? <laughs> just drive, just drive. Like, what, what, you fucking rob a bank or what? And then made the guy pass out and just yeah, ran. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then his parents were looking at me like, I'm like, what did I do? I just did what you paid me to. Yeah, but too real. She yeah. was so good at it. Acting. And then, then she came on board. We, uh, yeah, Sorry. that's good. Well, that's but, you, good. but make sure the microphone is on. Is it out? Can I look? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're out. <laughs> don't talk about a brush she hates. Yeah, don't do yeah, it. Yeah, don't do it. Uh, gross. She doesn't mind if you grope them, but don't yeah, talk about them. a little sucky sucky, but no sucky sucky. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so she joined the show, and uh, we traveled everywhere with me, you and Joel, my road manager from Australia. Yep. And uh, uh, slowly, I began to uh, fall in love with other people. You fall in love with other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, might have forgot about my ex-wife totally, thanks to a handful of antidepressants that I was supposed to take <laughs> one a day. But I found if you took <laughs> five a day, they worked a lot faster. And uh, <laughs> combined with a little alcohol and uh, drugs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the depression kind of just goes away, and so do all your other thoughts. Oh. <laughs> so uh, we had to keep rewriting the show over and over, mm -hmm. and um, it worked out. And we 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 actually had a good time before we got a call saying David Brennan would like you to fill in for two weeks while he goes on vacation at the Gold Nugget. 
But little did David Brenner realize. Goodbye, David. Hello, Bye -bye. Jonathan. Yeah. So we, uh, we went for two weeks, and we stayed for 13 years in Las mm -hmm. Vegas. And, uh, <coughs> golden and the, Nugget. Golden Nugget were the, were the best days, I think. Back in the old days, the Golden Nugget. When we played the Golden Nugget. When we could walk upstairs without hurting our knees. And the time I got locked in the elevator at the Golden Nugget for five and a half hours. With a fan. With a fan. I can't believe I'm locked in an elevator with the amazing Jonathan. <laughs> for five and a half hours. And I had to have Penny talk down the yeah, elevator like, shaft. You guys okay? No. Just to keep my sanity. <laughs> But did you hear the joke about the two? And I couldn't remember the joke. And I remember Penny giving me the news. The guy who can fix the he's two and a half hours away. <laughs> he's on his way here. I'm like, no. Yeah, and you said you went through, like, the whole, like, thing of, like, the like happy, funny, yeah, joking. Yeah, well, and then all of a sudden angry. And then it was, like, crying. And then it was, like, oh, depressed. Yeah, I went, being trapped in an elevator that long is really hard to do. It's like uh, you being trapped in my show for 13 years. Uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was uh, it was a good time at the Golden Nugget. We had uh, we had signing privileges. Two hundred dollar room service. Two dollars a day I got. Whether two hundred. Yeah, and you got a hundred dollars a day. I got fifty. Fifty. And, and we used uh, every day. We if we didn't use it by midnight, then it would go away. So I ordered alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We all, and I had the killer bar from yeah. hell. I don't even I don't even drink. And I had every. And then he had a drunk girl come to his house once, and she drank all his. <laughs> yeah, she cleaned me out one foul like, swoop. Jonathan, I drank some of your alcohol, and he licks it's all gone. That's right, man. She drank it all. Ah, the fucking bitch. But, but you're off that stuff now. Thank yeah. God. Woo! Penny has never had a drink in her life. Well, champagne once. Champagne uh, once. At a uh, wedding, and the guy squeezed wedding. me, and I threw up on him. He never called after that. But anyway, she's never had a drug in her, uh, never had any drugs in her life. No. And Aspirin. never smoked a cigarette in her life. Mm -mm. And it's little kind of, heroin once in a while. Yeah, a little once in a while. No, she doesn't. And uh, and and if she did, could you imagine? Could yeah, you imagine? right. Everyone comes up and says to her all the time, "Are you drunk?" Because she hates that. But <laughs> she acts like it. Maybe you would act yeah. normal if you were drunk. I know, maybe. I've People seen you come up. I was going to bring the clip of you at the dentist. I just didn't do it. Mm. Ooh. Somebody, somebody called one of, uh, a friend of hers who took, picked her up the dentist. An old friend of mine. Yeah, and no said, longer. you want to see Penny High? I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and drove her to my house, and she was out of her head on whatever the dentist gave her. <laughs> and she had cotton in her mouth. She's stumbling around my front lawn. Then she's crawling. I'm going to crawl home. <laughs> it, it was so fun. So I took the empty alcohol bottles from that fucking girl that cleaned me out. And I laid them, <laughs> laid them all around Penny and got a video camera out and just did some great footage, man. It was just, yeah, yeah, that was great. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this is the deal. I want, we're going to give Penny a taste. Of, she's going to give us a taste of her talents. I want you to first do, just do your, a couple impressions for us. Because before you were with me, you had a, a, a chance at a stand-up career, but that kind of got put on the back burner because <laughs> uh, you were with me. But, well, you know. I've been working on my Julia um, Childs. Oh, Do you know God. who she I is? I've heard this, though. I heard, what were you doing at, like, Come you wouldn't on. stop. It's so funny you were on one. the airplane doing it, that's why. I don't know what you're talking about, except I want some butter. <laughs> <laughs> on the airplane. Huh? All right, now. Waitress, where's my butter? <laughs> do, do. I need it for my toast. <laughs> no, yeah, do Judy Garland. Oh my, why well, there's no place like home. Oh, on the M, run! That's Judy Garland, that's good. <laughs> now, do Judy Garland, uh, not as Dorothy, but as Judy Garland. The drunk Judy? The drunk Judy, yeah. The night is better. Star, where's my scotch? How long? <laughs> There's a pillow. Oh, there's a still. I'm all right. I'm good now. <laughs> Who's Lorna? Scene. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So. Judy Dench. Let's not forget her. Yeah. Who's the dumb Judy Dench named Judy? No. Does she talk like that? I don't know her. No, I'm just kidding. Nobody. I don't know. I don't no. do her. <laughs> Far off. Far off. Pretty dark. Well. I used to take. I, I used to hang out with. I used to take Penny to the karaoke bar, and we used to yeah. hang out. And uh, this one. <laughs> This one girl was doing Material World, and she had two guys with her, and she was singing Madonna. And they put her on her shoulders like, like they did in the video, and her head went right through the fucking ceiling. 
spend an hour like that. She has that cork ceiling. Her head goes right through it. And you could, she was still singing up there. You could hear her. Oh, it was a muffled. Material. Oh, material. I, and I watched her do Crazy by uh, Patsy Cline. Yeah. And uh, she would get crazier as she was singing it. And <laughs> the, the whole place was in stitches when she was done. And I said, that is the girl that I want to have show. in my And when show. I went to your house, there was like 600 pictures of other girls. And I was like, ah. Well, there wasn't that. There wasn't 600 pictures of other girls because that I just got divorced. There's no, but there was a whole bunch of agents had just brought over. I'm like, oh. oh, agents. That that's right. I was supposed to look at girls to be in my show. Right. Right. You were the only one who auditioned. Yeah. You were thank it. God. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have gotten it if I yeah. had to audition. There were. Yeah, yeah, because the other pictures were really pretty, and they they probably would have put out. <laughs> <laughs> and then then came the day I did meet the other girl. You were there when I did. Finally, did meet you meet Shannon? Them? Oh, Shannon. Yeah, one of, of who I finally did fall in love with, and she stole my credit card. <laughs> what a bunch of fucking dog. losers for I get hooked up with, <laughs> except for the one now. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the one now. She's awesome. She is awesome. Where's she? Where's she at? Right here. Oh Aww. no! Oh no! No, we're not talking about you. Ah, uh, uh, burn unit. Burn unit. So Penny's gonna do a little scene called Spanish soap opera, and it's it's it's. <laughs> Come on. It's brilliant. It's just better standing up. Oh, you, you can stand up. With an, Nikki, like, Nikki, she's going to stand up. Don't cut my head off like you did no. with Robert. Wow. Well, that's kind of like you ruined the joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a good example of Penny. That's exactly a good example of Penny. <laughs> I don't have a good memory for songs or jokes. Oh, speaking of which, here, where's my iPad? In this iPad, do you have an ink pen? There a is an ink pen, and there's a blank check here, and I'm going to write you a check. What seats? Oh, is there? Uh, I don't see it. Somebody bring me an ink pen. I'm going to write Penny a check for $100. What? Yeah. Oh, look at that! If, if, oh, if, oh, I can, if no, you can no, tell, no. if you can tell three jokes without fucking up the punchlines. Okay. All, all right. right. Wait a minute. Let me tell. All, right, all, right. all right. So you can't do the <laughs> Irish joke. That stupid one that I hate so much. You That's the only one I know. I know. This is I know. All right, you ready? <laughs> Three jokes. jokes this told. is a stand-up comic yeah. who cannot tell one joke all the uh, way through without getting to the punchline wrong. All right. I, I know one. She's brilliant. She's a comedic genius. However, when it comes to telling jokes, she turns into Penny Wiggins. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right. Here it is. Here we go. Hundred dollars. Start writing that mother. No, it's just right here in front of me. You want okay. the, you want the blank part? No, not that All part. Right. Okay. So um, this guy goes into a bar, and he uh, he orders a drink, and all of a sudden he hears, "Hey, sexy," and he turns around. There's no one there, and he keeps he hears, "Hey, baby," and he turns around. No one's there. Finally goes, bartender, there's minute, no one here. Yeah, I don't yeah. hear any you voices. Fucked it up. You no, fucked it up. I didn't. So far, I no. No. Bartender, I don't hear any voices. And the bartender goes, Oh yeah, that's the peanuts, the complimentary. See, you fucked it up because there's nothing complimentary. It's nice shirt. Hey, I really like your hair. No, that's, she said, hey, sexy. Yeah, that's not a compliment. That's com is that no, complimentary? That's Come not how it goes. Right? No, that's no, no. It's got to be yeah, see, you got it. It's got to be complimentary. No, you're just trying to find a loophole. No, I, no there's I'm not. Your, there's hey, your motherfucker loophole. Hey, sexy is not complimentary. Oh. That is com That's is that if not got, complimentary? Two, if, if she can tell three more. Let's see if she can get three. All right, I'll let that one we'll slide. Let that slide. That's slide. And then, okay. one. All right. No, oh, we'll no, let that no, one slide. We're, 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 we're calling that a no. All right. We're, we're pretending okay. that it didn't so happen. This guy goes into a bar. He orders a, a scotch and soda. He's drinking his drink, and all of a sudden he turns, and there's this guy next to him, and he falls down. And he goes, whoa, this guy's really drunk. He picks him back up. He's drinking his drink. The guy falls down. He picks him back up, and finally he's falling down again. He goes, hey, bartender, do you know where this guy lives? I'll give him a ride home. He goes, yeah, 446 Sunset. It's the same bartender. So he picks him up. He's dragging him down the stairs. He gets him in the car. He drags him up to 446 Sunset. He knocks on the door, like and a woman opens the door, and she's like, yes, may I help you? And he goes, yeah, ma'am, is this your husband? And she goes, yes, but where's his wheelchair? Yeah, one joke. But, however, you had the address wrong, so I can't give it to you. No, oh, I'm, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's right. one. Why one. did the um, little boy sit on his clock? No, no little, no, you can't do one line. I can do whatever line. I no, want. No, you, no, oh, loopholes. You can't do one-line kids jokes. Uh, no, you uh, have to do jokes, not one-liners. Okay, um, here's one. 
How come the mafia hate, um, uh, hold on, I have it, wait, hold on. Why do the mafia hate uh, Jehovah Witnesses? Why? <laughs> they don't like any witnesses. But the, the, jo ah! the joke is, why do Italians hate Jehovah Witnesses? Italians don't like any. No, I've heard no, of mafias. No, actually, mafia's right. Mafia's, mafia's right. right. <laughs> That's two, but that wasn't one liner. But I'll have to have it anyways. Okay. Uh, what you got? What you also have to realize. Why did, but why did the boy sit on the clock? Is what, what were we gonna say? So we could be on time. Okay, I think so. So you can see time. So you can see time fly. I, that's what you would say for that. One. All right. What you have to realize is that backstage, probably every day, between Jonathan and Geechee oh, there's a million jokes. You you will hear every day 10, 20 jokes every single day. And you will retain two of them in 13 years. Yeah. And, so and you got one more to go. And okay. How come the lion would no, not the, no, eat the no, clown? No, 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 no. It has to be a joke. Not the how come. These are one-liners. I don't want how why did it did it because it did it why did it I don't want that I want to hear a joke like a right. paragraph long. Um. So. I can do my I I only know one other joke. Ken, no, you so, know a lot no, of I know jokes. this one. This one. Right. The, the nun joke, joke. is the only other no, one I know. No, that's, that's, that was, you said as long as I do three jokes in yeah, a row. I said, but I did say the nun joke was not to be counted in that. Come oh, on, uh, you can take one more. Okay. Okay. Uh. How come? Um, this is a comedian. <laughs> you, saw, you saw the Dirty Joke show a million times, which has I think I'm going to put jokes. that down. I don't know Dirty Joke. I, I told nine jokes in the show at the beginning with the rabbit every night that we worked together. Oh, uh, don't nine. try to help her put jokes in her <laughs> no, head. No, she can't. She'll see. <laughs> She'll still fuck her up. <laughs> okay, here's one. How come? <laughs> this is another how come joke. She, she can't no, retain no, no. that rule. <laughs> how can she... <laughs> How can she tell the joke if she can't even retain the joke? Okay, I got one. I have All one. Right. I have one. Two what twins. is it? What is it uh, called if uh, Again. What, shh, what is it okay, called? Okay, I'm gonna start no, you up. You can't it. do a what is if joke. If a guy, an Indian guy, uh, a um, Armenian guy, <laughs> and a Chinese guy jump over a mountain. What's what? it called? What's it called? It's called you told it wrong. You said <laughs> the joke is this, Penny. There's a uh, there's a Jewish man, a black man, and a Chinese woman standing on the edge of a cliff. They're gonna jump off to see who hits the ground first. Who wins? Society. Society. Yes. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could tell the twins joke. You could have told the twins joke, which you know. Which twins joke? Where did you go to school? No, I, oh, I went to school there. And, I went to school there. And you prevented me from winning on You told it the other day. Where did uh, you go to school? I went to school. Oh, there's two, two guys this going to bar. This doesn't count, by the way, because I gave Two guys going to bar. And I was like, oh, about. they're Luddy. <laughs> you, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think my point has been made. And yet, on stage, you can't shake her. I mean, she's like a bulldog on your ass. You try to throw her off. You can't throw her off. She's got perfect comic timing. She just can't tell a joke to I, save her fucking life. And my favorite part is there's moments like you're dancing on stage. You're going to do the dancey dancey. And there would be moments that would usually go on a minute. There would be nights where Jonathan would let you go. Oh, for a half hour <laughs> dancing. She'd make she all these, just, she's only supposed to dance for a half a minute. I wouldn't stop her. <laughs> I was supposed to stop her, but I wouldn't. And pretty soon it was like, it was like, it was like, she's, laying on, the floor. she's on the floor and rolling around. She's so up, she's so tired. I'm like, <laughs> oh God. Dude. And that one time it was beautiful on stage. This is when she was really sharp and when she was paying attention. Oh. She wasn't backstage yakking with the other hands. Oh. Um, no, you still have it, but you just don't use it. Um, well, these things don't happen anymore. No, someone's phone ringing in the audience and you heard, Da 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 da, and from the side you hear do da do da. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. You used to watch the show back then. Remember what was the one, the one where he had a dove and the dove got out? And remember what was that was a really funny line what? too. What happened? Uh, Dana had a or somebody had a dove and the dove flew out in the audience. Yeah, what happened then? And then I can't remember what else happened. Well, that was a good. This is a perfect story. This is perfect. <laughs> perfect. It's just like that. Uh, <laughs> what else? Well, we'll be right back. But when we come back, we're going to show you some of Penny Wiggins' brilliance on stage. Yeah. We can cue up a joke. 
we're going to cue up a joke <laughs> she wouldn't do because she didn't think was funny, but I had to talk her into it, and that now she's great at it. We'll be right <laughs> back with it. more burn That's units. That's the thing is I can look. All right. <laughs> okay. All right.